Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mel, this is my sex and today I'm going to be sharing some flat male projects with you today. So I hope you guys enjoy today's video. So hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are all very well. Today I'm going to be sharing some flat male projects that I've made for my friend Jude. So Jude's birthday is actually coming up this week. I'll be posting this video up when she receives all the lovely goodies that I've sent her. But I've made a couple of flat mail projects for her, including some binder mail as well, which I'm really excited to show you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you liked today's video, then please do give this video a like, comment, and a subscribe. And let's get into the video. So the first project I'm going to show you is this. I've just put the name of the um, the YouTuber that's actually um, done this project in a tutorial. So I'll leave that link in the box below. So this is by Polka Dot Mailbox. And it's just one of these kind of photo albums. It's made with, I think this is made out of one 12 by 12 paper. So I've just basically created like this little um, folio. So it's just got a couple of bits of goodies in there. And there's a couple of collections that I've used. And they're all doodle bug because Jude really loves doodle bug as much as I do. So I thought that I'd actually use most of the flat mail projects with doodle bug collections. So this one is, um, this is one using love notes and a happy place. I'll put all the names of the products in the box below. So you can go and search for those on um some of your well-known crafty websites so i've just made this lovely folio i'll leave the tutorial in the box below by polka dot mailbox and what i've done is i've just put um some of these um lovely gorgeous die cuts from the collection and these ones are a bit too big to kind of put in this little um sealer bag so i've just put them on the outside so i've just um tucked them into there and i've just decorated the decorated it quite simply so i've actually just put some atcs here in the pockets again i'm not going to take them all out because i want it kind of to be a surprise so i've just made some atcs using the hello collection from doodlebug so there's quite a mix of collections in here but because doodlebug actually uses colors that kind of go together and combine together um it's a lot more easier to put some collections together even if um even if they are from different collections so this is my happy place this is a love note so i've just put some of these presents here some of the sentiments as well I've got some atcs here that are using the hello collection that i forgot to put in the list here again i've just decorated it with some of the love notes um odds and ends gorgeous little bow on top of the mailbox and i've just put in this top pocket um, some of these shape sprinkles as well and i've just um taken out this twine just so that um you can actually pull it out of the pocket but that's the first um flat mail project that i have made and i'll be wrapping all these little bits tonight so that she can so that you can actually receive these in time for her birthday so that is the first one that i've made i'll just put them at the top here again i'll leave all the links below to the products um that i've mentioned and the tutorials as well so that is the first project the second project that I've made is this. So this is like a album folio. Um, this is done by Serena B Creative. Again, I'll leave her link in the box below the tutorial. And I've used um, the Cute and Crafty collection with the Love Notes collection. I had quite a bit of the Love Notes collection, so I've just used some of the ephemera to actually decorate some of the pieces. Um, I didn't really have that much from the Cute and Crafty collection uh, ephemera-wise, so I've had to literally incorporate another collection into it. But I think it's turned out really, really well. So as the front, has this gorgeous bird on the front, has um, this floor roof here, has this um i don't know if you guys remember like these old school and um, cameras where you used to like click the sides and it used to look like a polaroid camera and it just had images on the side that's like the film that goes into it it's got the little clipboard here and again i've used um cute and crafty by doodlebug and that's what it looks like on the other side i haven't decorated the other side because it's quite busy so i thought now nah, i'd leave it plain on the other side so that is the folio and on the inside i've actually just decorated it on the inside here again with the love notes collection and you can actually take like these little tabs out so i just made these tabs out here so that if jude wanted to put like little photo mats for example then she could these have got like tabs at the top as well so i've just made a shorter one and a smaller one so she can actually just stick her photos on there a little bit of text if she wanted to as well she actually 
actually fix it. She can actually put another couple of tabs if she wanted in this pocket. But I thought I'd make the two M um, tabs here so that she could use um the little folio album. And then um I've actually just put some pocket letters in here. So these are mini pocket letters. Um I have made these before. Um, and these are just really gorgeous. I used to make the ones that were in um, three slots across a nine pocket um, sleeve. These are the ones from the um, Echo Park or Simple Stories and they're three by four pockets. You can get them in four, so they're normally like this. And then you can actually put them in your six by eight albums. But then what I did was I actually just cut them in half so I can actually make two pocket letters. So you've got this one here that says you are a cut above the rest. It's got the yarn here as well. Again, I've used the cute and crafty collection. I've just put a couple of the doodle pops in here. These are from the, um, I think these are made, these are from the Made of Love collection, I think. With the lovely um, icing the icing and the icing pipe bags and then the sugar and the and the flour and the eggs and the butter so i just put some doodle pops in there that i'm going to be gifting to jude and then i'm just going to slip these in here if i can I'm just going to put that one in there and this one actually says eat sleep craft repeat and it says you make me so happy again just decorate it with the washi tape so that's washi tape paper and then the buttons on this side and then again i'm just gifting do some of these doodle pops so you've got the rainbow in the clouds and the lovely ice creams and the cake here as well this is from land that i love i don't know what collection this is from um i'll check which one it is it might be from um one of st patrick's day ones or it might actually be from a um another collection but i'll put the link below but that is um really really gorgeous i've just made these little pocket letters just so that you can um, have a look at all the goodies inside. So that is the Folio album. I'm going to show you the next couple of projects that I've made as well. The third project that I've made is this one. So this is a folder. This is like a folio folder. This is by Pink Strawberries. Uh, and I'm using the Fairy Garden, the Love Notes collection and also the Hello collection. Again, I didn't really have that much of the Fairy Garden collection, so I just basically used what I had. Um, so this is the front, has the fairy with the bee here. It says, um, you're sweet. Has this lovely rainbow and all the clouds here as well. Again, I've used the Fairy Garden papers from the 12 by 12 set. And then I've put the rubber and the butterfly here at the back. Um, I'll leave Pink Strawberry's link and tutorial in the box below as well. So this is what I made for the inside. These actually have pockets on the inside. This has a central little, little holder here on the inside. And it has the pocket on this side. So inside here, I've just put some of the ephemera from the Fairy Guide collection of what I actually had left. So I actually put them in there. So it's like a little pocket. And then what I've done is I've just created like these banner towels. So you've got this one here that says selfie has camera on it. It's using the Hello collection. Absolutely gorgeous collection. One of my favourites. Um, just because of the bright colours. And I love some of the kind of unusual elements that it uses in the collection. So you've got this one. So this is just a banner tail. I may put a hole in the top just so that you can actually hang them up. But I'm not sure if you might want to put a different fastening on the top. And then we've got this banner here. It just says just because because the pockets are quite tight in this um little folder folio i've actually tried to make everything really really flat so again we've got this in the blue and the stripes with the flowers and the lovely hearts and just says just because as well um the colors do go quite well together i love the fact that it's kind of like um from two separate collections the love notes collections are the flowers here the hello is this um these two banner towels here in the middle and then the fairy garden is the ephemera and the outside of the book as well so that is the square photo that I've made and then the last project that I've made here again by Pink Strawberries it's a folder with um it's basically like um um an envelope tag book so it has the little holders in there again this is by Pink Strawberries and I've just used a great outdoors collection that I recently got through Shell Simone Crafts so this is the front of it the only difference between this one and the original is that I've actually put a cover on the front of it um, so what I've done is I've actually just made the cover out of the 12 by 12 papers that I got from Shell. 
and I've just decorated it with that um, collection. So I've just decorated the front. It has the sun here and the cloud. You've got the trees here with the fox. You've got the tree here with the moose. And then we've got the lovely trees here with the bear. And I love the colours in this collection. I just love the orange and the blues. Some of the kind of like natural and wildlifey type colours. Um, lots of greenery, which we always love. And then what I've done is I've actually just put some of these tags in the inside pockets because there are tags in here, little um, pockets that you can actually slip things in. So I'll just put this tag in here, which I'm trying now to put back. So I've just put some tags in the inside pockets. So there's the other tags. And there's a smaller tag in the front, but I haven't put anything in there. And then uh, on the inside pockets of the big pockets, I've just made some of these circle embellishments that have the gorgeous animals on there. So you've got the skunk and the squirrel with the leaves. And then I've done the same as well for this one, which has the owl and the turkey. I think that is a turkey with the leaves. So I'm just gonna carefully put that back. And then this one here, we have um, the hedgehog and the frog with the leaves. And again, it just matches the whole collection. I've just used the, um, I've just used the odds and ends from the Great Outdoors collection. And what I've done is I've actually just made the cover. So initially, the tutorial just has the envelopes that you make, the little mini envelopes that you make in the book. And then what I've done is I've actually just put um, one of the twelve by twenty papers just to wrap around it. You can just use a piece of card. If you want to use a piece of card, I've just used the 12 by 12 papers just to wrap around the actual envelopes just to keep it more secure. I just decorated it with the fence, the leaf and the fox in the front. This is Adventure Await. And then on the other side it just has this um, lovely kind of yeti on the, on the back that says hello. Which I thought was really, really cool as well. So that is um, the tutorial by Pink Strawberries. I think she calls it like um, an envelope album or... Um, a tag album but i'll put the link in the box below and the last project that i'm going to show you is the one that i've made for binder mail so the last project that i'm going to show you is binder mail so back in the day uh, we used to do binder mail i think people still actually do binder mail you basically get these um very clear a5 folders i used to get them from the range um, i do have a haul coming up that actually has um the collection I actually bought of some of these A5 folders from the range and that's where originally you got them. You used to get them from Amazon as well. And you basically make binder mouse and it's basically you use sleeves, like these plastic sleeves, to create a happy mouth for someone. Um, I think Laura back in the day um, did um, a swap where people got paired up on doing binder mail and you just include like things like embellishments, postcards, ATC cards, badges, that sort of thing. So you used to decorate the whole binder with these sleeves and you put like embellishments in there, you could put anything that you want in there as long as it was flat and it can actually fit into the folder. You can decorate it as much as you wanted. You can put whatever you'd like in there. So I've actually used a mix of some of the folders. So this clear folder that I got is from the range, it's 175 I think. And what I've done is I've actually used the Let's Get Crafty Simple Stories collection. Um, I have uh, one or two pads of this, but I actually used it this time around to actually create the binder mount. And I've actually crafted it like it's a magazine. So one of the um, one of the 6x8 papers actually has this crafted magazine um, cover on the front. So I decided to use it for the cover of this binder mount. So it's got some of the gorgeous colours on there. You can actually get this um, paper collection from Show um, Show Some Rain Crafts. It's absolutely beautiful. It's got lots of gorgeous, vibrant colours. I know a lot of people like this collection because it's just craft orientated. And it's got lots of beautiful kind of pastel colours on there. So that is the front. I haven't done the sides. I don't normally do the sides and I've just done the back. So that's the front cover. I've actually used the same image for the inside cover. Um, and I've just decorated the inside here. So it just covers up the tape from the 
other side here so i've just used the um so these um so these pockets these protective pockets are actually from amazon they're from echo park or simple storage because you can get them in different sizes in different brands actually stock different size um pocket protectors so you've got this one which is actually a six by eight one and what I've done is I've actually just um, decorated the sides of these because the holes that are actually um, originally in the pocket protectors don't actually match up to the holes of the binder. So I've actually had to cover them up and then re um, re punch them again. So I've got this one here has the front cover. And what I've done is I've just um, taken some of the stickers and just put them on the inside cover. Got this mini pocket letter here so again i've just used some of the um, three by four cutter parts and then put them in the pockets and it's got some gorgeous um little sayings on here god is going to craft you color my life one happy stamper thanks a bunch absolutely gorgeous collection if you've never actually seen the collection before then please do consider buying it it's really gorgeous i love the colors and i love the kind of craft orientation theme of it i put some of these square um embellishments here in the pockets so what I've done is I've just added some of the stickers here. Um, so that is just like added um, little embellishments. And um, you can actually use these to stick on her projects. Got some of the 4x6 postcards. I've actually just added this from the ephemera because it's actually quite plain on this side. So I've actually just added the happy crafty sentiment on that side. This is, oh, I'm going to craft with somebody. I want to make cute things with somebody. Love the phrase. So I just left it on its own. Then on the inside, I've just created um, some of these embellishments that are using some of the foam stickers. Again, available from Shower Shop. And um, so this one just says create. This one says memories. And these one have these little, lovely little tags here that I've just grouped together so that you can actually use them. And the next page is this 6x8 page. This says Dream, Live, Create. And what I've done is I've actually just added some of these embellishments that Jude can actually take out if she'd like to. It's like when you get a magazine and it gives like away free stuff. And these are like the free embellishments that you get in that magazine. So I've just um, used some of these. Um, I've just put some of these um, lovely embellishments together, like square rectangular ones. So I've just put them in the corner so that um, you can use them. On the inside of this one, I've actually just created some cards. Um, I think these are like three by four cards, I think. And they might be a little bit more bigger. But um, again, I'll put the measurement up on the left side of the screen. And what I've done is I've just created these two cards here. This is thanks a bunch. And let me just take this bit out. I'll just show you. I've also made the envelopes for them as well. So I made the envelopes using, I think it's the Marigold Collection from crate paper because i didn't have that much paper i had six by eight paper but it wasn't going to create the envelopes for the cards so this one says thanks a bunch and this says um you're so sweet so again i've just um, made those cards and i've just made the envelopes because they actually go quite well with the collection from the marigold collection from i think it's maggie homes or by crate paper so i've just made those cards again i've added the embellishment here in the um, left hand corner and it says i craft past my bedtime so again you can take these out and use them for our own uh, and then i've created like two more cards here and i've just created the envelopes again with that marigold um that marigold paper so this says totes adorbs and smile Again, the papers go really, really well with the collection. So I've just um, used the Marigold collection to do the envelopes. We've got another um, pocket letter um, protector here. So again, this has, um, let's stick together. You're so sweet. Smile, totes adorbs. And this actually just has some ATCs in the back here. So this one's just so cute with the camera. Um, such a crafty girl with some of these embellishments. Um, crafting with a chance of glitter so you've got the little embellishment jar here and then we've got the lovely kind of tray that we use to segregate our sequins and odds and ends or ephemera and this just is awesome and so crafty on there as well so i've just made those um, mini atcs the next process that we have is the four by six ones so these basically have the little um post in there so we just have those 
And then we then have um, these lovely um, embellishments here. And we've got the tags here on the inside as well. So we've got those um, postcards on that side. Then we've got the embellishments on this side as well. And then we've got the tags here and the embellishments here as well. <laughs> the next page that we've got here on this side is this 6 by 8 um, page here. It says crafty and happy. This has the embellishment here that says life's a stitch. And it has the... Um, embroidery hoop and the lovely little um, sewing wheels here as well and then on the other side I've just included some of these stickers that I got from the collection as well I just thought I'd give them to Jude too so that is the binder mail that I have made um, it's quite nice to put together I haven't done one of these for a very long time um, and I did enjoy it when I used to do it um, back in the day but I actually have missed it a little bit so I just thought I'd create this for June so I hope you guys have enjoyed all those lovely projects I hope that Jude enjoys the lovely gifts that I have made for her for her birthday. Um, I'll leave Jude's Instagram link in the box below. So if you'd like to go and follow her, then please do. I'll also leave the names of the YouTubers and the collections that I've used um, while making these projects as well. So if you'd like to check those out, then please do so. Um, I've loved making the little bits and pieces for Jude. So I hope that Jude enjoys the lovely bits that I have sent her in her birthday package. If you guys like this video, then please do give this video a like comment and subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next video.